Hello, I'm Alicia Malone and on tonight's TCM Imports we have two films by the acclaimed Spanish-Mexican filmmaker and father of cinematic surrealism, Luis Buñuel, and both are essential viewing. Soon you'll see his dark horror comedy about a dinner party, The Exterminating Angel, but up now from 1961 it's Viridiana. This was the first film that Luis Buñuel made upon his return to Spain after being exiled from the country for nearly 25 years, and this movie caused a sensation. The story follows a young novitiate called Viridiana, played by Silvia Pinal, who travels to visit her uncle to thank him for supporting her, but he is grieving the loss of his wife and soon becomes fixated on Viridiana. He's played by Fernando Rey in his first collaboration with Bunuel. Bunuel had started directing in the late 1920s, making the famous surrealist short film En Chien Andalou with his friend, artist Salvador Dali. And during the next five decades of his career, Bunuel alternated between making surrealist movies and crafting films that had more conventional storytelling. He made over 30 films, returning to themes of class, religion, sex. He took aim at the bourgeoisie, politics and the Catholic Church. And he also weaved in his own sexual fantasies. Because of this, Bunuel was controversial, butting heads with the Francisco Franco regime in Spain. In fact, he only made three films in his native country and two of those were banned by the government, including our film. So let's watch from 1961, here is Viridiana. Viridiana won the Palme d'Or Award at the Cannes Film Festival, tied with the long absence from France. But despite that success, Viridiana was banned in Spain and Italy and called blasphemous by the Vatican. Strangely, this had less to do with the near rape and incest involving a nun, which had a touch of necrophilia, and more because of that parody of da Vinci's painting, The Last Supper. Causing controversy was nothing new for Bunuel, who was proudly anti-establishment and whose films often criticised the Catholic Church. At this time, Bunuel had been exiled from his own country for nearly 25 years, making movies in Mexico. He was invited back to Spain by Francisco Franco's regime, who wanted to reclaim the director as their own, but he had to make films that would be agreeable to the government's censors. Instead, Bunuel made Viridiana, which almost saw him banned once again. But stay with us on TCM Imports for the movie Bunuel made next. It's a darkly funny film about a bourgeoisie dinner party where the guests cannot leave.